at the debate, what I could not do without, and I said Evelyn because of the you. I also want to thank all of the incredible leaders that were here today. Andy Ansborough of the firefighters. Let's give Andy another round. Simka, Dan, Grace, Richie, Gigi, all the people who come together in this campaign, they did so in an act of political courage and vision because you know the machine fears this campaign. That's right. That's right. The elected leaders who decided to champion this campaign see something different. They see a need to change politics as usual in New York City to work for us, the people and families of New York. And I can tell you, each and every one of them, when they said, hey, I'm going to support Andrew Yang, you know what happened? Their phone blew up with dozens of people saying, no, don't do it. No, 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 please, please don't do it. Oh, it's the truth, each and every one of them. They're laughing because they know it's true. And then they walk through that little bit of bullshit. And <laughs> say, oh, Andrew Yang is our guy. But I gotta say, each and every one of them is a true leader. And we really should recognize each and every one of them. For the because that is what New York City needs right now, is real leadership. That is what we have been wanting for far too long. You have these political insiders and creatures who are just lurching from press conference to press conference, fundraiser to fundraiser, saying, ooh, maybe if I buy my time in X years, I'll be able to run for this position, and then that position, and then maybe 25 years later, I might even be able to run for mayor. Wouldn't that be swell? Does that sound like leadership to you, New York City? some of these people owe? Countless! Hundreds, thousands, they can't even keep track. They're coming out of their ears. You know who doesn't owe anyone a damn thing? Me! They just got the request satisfied last week. 
Is, is anyone held accountable for that? No. 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 The budget of New York City has gone up by almost 50 percent in the last 10, 11 years. Who here thinks New York City's gone 50 percent better in the last 10, 11 years? No. Oh, and then when it doesn't work, what do the politicians say? We needed more money. Just give us more money, we'll keep pumping it into these dysfunctional bureaucracies and agencies, and then it will work. But New York is no different, am I right? Yeah. We know that the real challenge is getting the system to actually deliver value for us, the people of New York. Yeah. And that will be my job as your mayor. My job will be get into the muck and figure out why it's not working, why it's not delivering, why even if you put more resources to work, nothing changes. That will be my job, but I need you all to get me that job. Will you get me that job? People all over the city know it's not working, whether it's in Soundview, Borough Park, Richmond Hill, you go, and they sense that the machines are working for someone who is not us. But I've got news for the people on the inside. We outnumber them. Something like 10 to 1. And that is going to be our job in the next nine days. You all know I'm the math guy. I do like numbers. So here is the math. There are 3.2 million registered Democrats in this city. In the last open election, 800,000 people voted. And the lower the turnout is, the happier the insiders are. Because they've got these little blocks, they're like, hey, I think I can get to my, my number, I can get to my number. So what we have to do in the next nine days is just grow the number of people that vote. If we get that 800,000 to 900,000 to a million, we will win this race! <laughs> And something national is happening right now in New York City. People are casting their votes. Yes. You know, I saw it. I followed Evelyn and she cast her vote. I think we know who you voted for, baby. But <laughs> well, people are casting their votes right now. If you pass someone on the street, there's a great chance that they can actually just go to a polling place and like cast a vote. They can do it today. They can do it tomorrow. They can do it Tuesday. That can, they can do it Wednesday. They can do it all the way through this coming Sunday. This is how we're going to get the numbers up, and this is how we are going to win. We will win! 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 But in order to deliver this historic victory to the people of New York City, we're going to have to work for it. We're going to have to work for it. So the way we work for it is by getting, grinding out every single vote from the time we leave here, or if you're watching this online, from the time this live stream ends, I need you to think, hey, how am I gonna get someone to vote? How am I gonna get that number up from 800,000 to 900,000 to a million and deliver real change for the people of New York? I want you all to imagine a world where we fall short because we did not do the work. That is not the world we are going to live in. Am I right? Yeah. The people are waiting too long for this, for us to miss this opportunity, am I right? We started this race in January, and what did they say? They said, oh, no, this can't last. This won't happen. We're going we're gonna to plant our usual set of negative stories, and we'll drag him down to our level. As much as they don't like us, we're going to make them not like him, too. But here we are, when people are voting, and we are poised to win this race! <laughs> but we're going to need to work for it, New York City. So we need you to get out the vote. We need you to go to your friends, your family. We need you to sign up for a shift. We need you to do everything in our power to get more New Yorkers, the silent majority, that 3.2 million, who have watched our city disintegrate around us and are sick of it. We need to let them know that they can have real change. They can have a leader who just answers to them. And they just get out and vote by June 22nd. Are you with me, New York?
stake in this election. There's a vision for the future. There are the lives of 8.3 million people. There's the destiny of the greatest city in our country, and whether it continues to be, the latter of opportunity has been so many, so for so many of us, myself included. I showed up here as a 21-year-old student. I didn't know much. I have had the kind of life and career that that 21-year-old could not have imagined. I got to meet Evelyn, the sort of partner and mother that I never could have imagined. <laughs> New York City is the greatest transformer of human capital and activator of human potential in the history of the world. And that is what is at stake right now through June 22nd. If we lose this race, what lies ahead for New York City? If you pick a number of the other people in this field and you make them mayor, think about the future you imagine for New York. This is what is at stake. We have to work our hearts out. We have to grind for every vote. We have to take advantage of every minute until now, and from now until midnight on June 22nd, and leave it all on the field. And I guarantee you, everyone, if we do that, we will win, and we will deliver.